Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back into another My Team video and also welcome into season two of NBA 2K. Uh, new season, new rewards, and lots of new things getting added into the game. As you just saw, we got that Tyrese Halliburton as a reward for level 40. And right now I'm really starting to deep dive into season two. I haven't really played anything today. Uh, so it's gonna be a very fun season and rewarding season, hopefully. Uh, my team has finally taken the initiative of making the mode more rewarding and giving people more incentive to want to grind the mode of my team. So that's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. They've upgraded showdown rewards and triple threat park rewards, uh, given different opportunities for us to make our team better without actually having to cough up our money or VC or whatever the case free opportunities to grind the game out and get rewards so starting off speaking of rewards went ahead and bought the hall of fame pass as you can see got our level skips up to level 11 and we got all the rewards that come along with that we got some ascension picks we got a diamond crawl anthony towns that comes from getting the pro pass uh so off the rip, not bad options, especially if you're just getting into my team and you're trying to get your start off into the mode, say you're just starting season two. This will give you some incentive to want to come in and grind and start your season off right with some player option packs, uh, just a bunch of different things that you can go ahead and grind. Eventually, we're going to go ahead and claim that reward, but we're just going to look around at first. Uh, looking through here, up next uh, on the Ascension picks, we got an opportunity to get a Diamond Buddy Yield and work our way up to essentially the level 40, Tyrese Halliburton. Uh, on top of that, just a bunch of different rewards that were added into the game. Let's go ahead and go into the Season 2 rewards. There's Tyrese. Carl uh, Anthony Towns, a great card. If you went ahead and got that Pro Pass, you auto automatically get Carl Anthony Towns. There's a James Worthy card here. I think you get him along the grind of getting level 40. I think he's like 34, somewhere in that mark, somewhere in the 30s. Uh, there's Buddy Yield off the Ascension pick. And then we have KCP, who you can get off of Domination, grinding off Domination. There's a whole new Domination group added into the game. So that is a W on 2K's end. Hopefully we keep on getting new Dominations to grind out each season because there's not a lot of ways to get MT. And that is the best, most valuable way that you can do it. Like I said, without even having to pay for it. So easy grinds, easy grinds. And this is probably other rewards that you'll get along the way of the level rewards. And I know you get the Jamal Murray who evos uh, right off becoming level one. So good rewards there. Good rewards there. Love to see that. And like I was saying earlier, they went ahead and up, updated the mode gameplay wise on rewards. We can go ahead and take a look at those challenges. Uh, we've got where are we at? Where are we at? We got domination wins. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Here we go. Park conqueror wins. So you get a reward for. 5 wins, 10 wins, 25 wins, 50 wins, 70 wins, or 75, 100, 150, 200, 250, and 500. Rewards all the way leading up to 500 wins in the game. And so that's amazing. That's amazing. With the ultimate reward being a legend badge, getting a legend badge is going to up your player so much gameplay wise. So getting a legend badge this early in the game will almost break the game. <laughs> it's gonna work wonders out here but uh diamond hidden gem reward cards 50k mt you know hall of fame pack uh just different reasons to want to grind the mode you know without before see in season one this wasn't really here they were kind of giving us spurts of rewarding us for playing the game uh near the end of season one but it's nice to have something permanent that you can overall picture yourself grinding all the way uh throughout season two it's awesome. It's awesome. We love to see that for the mode. Like I said here, you get a legendary badge for hitting 250 showdown uh, game wins. Keep in mind, these are wins. That is a lot of games. <laughs> that is a lot of games to do in 41 days. 500 park wins, a lot. 250 uh, showdown game wins, a lot. Showdown games are about 30 minutes, I would say. Park games are probably anywhere from 5 to 10. So uh, it's a lot of time to get that ultimate goal, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to end up achieving, which is kudos to them because that is a long 
grind, a very long grind. But hey, it's a grind for sure, and it's something to look forward to. And it's just giving people incentive to want to play, you know. And they also updated these rewards that you'll get from uh, reaching the next tier. So these rewards will get better as you reach the higher tier. And this is already a lot of stuff just off of hitting one more tier level up. So I'm excited to work my way through the ladder of showdown and see what those rewards are gonna end up being. Really nice that they're updating the mode and giving people incentive to play. And also, I'll be grinding some breakout. Thanks to Moe's Ballin', man, Moe's Ballin'. I'm sure a lot of people in the My Team community know Moe's Ballin', but uh, this is a, not the board based off of Moe's what he recommended but definitely check out his video man he's figured out the breakout board the algorithm on how to get a deluxe pack and good rewards while playing breakout quick and easy and efficiently too so definitely check out that video if you haven't already uh also we got domination here definitely gonna finish up this era's domination and work my way over to the abc's domination and get that kcp4 reward who does look like he's gonna be a good card and can definitely make some room on my team for him for sure. Uh, yeah, man, but good rewards. Love to see that, that's amazing, man. And on top of that, quick side note, if you, if you didn't know, you can go, if you don't have an NBA ID account, you can create an account, and if you do have one, you can still go on the account and go and check your benefits tab to get a locker code for free, uh, what was the pack? It is a free super pack. A free super pack going into season two. They give everyone a free season one super pack. So that's awesome. Definitely want to make sure you go and do that. I think that's like kind of like one of our first early locker codes that we're getting in the game. So a free season one super pack. We're going to make sure to open that up too. Um, and yeah, and you guys can also see we've got that 92 plus overall premium pack here. Uh, another deal that 2K threw at us. A VC deal, that's why you can see I have that 90k VC, 15 from getting the rewards, the Hall of Fame pass, and then um, the 75k here from purchasing this bundle. Comes with 10k MT, a double XP coin, and a 92 plus overall premium pack. Great deal if you ask me. Uh, it's a great deal. You know, you're guaranteed a diamond, and you get a little bit of MT and some VC on top of that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that VC. I'm probably not going to spend it on these packs just yet. Honestly, it may get invested into it, making a new build on my career. I've been playing some my career lately, so we'll see, man. I've been itching to make a new build, so we'll see how that goes. I am going to open up these two packs here, and hopefully I can get something nice from it, man. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But if you haven't already, make sure you guys like up that video. Send in some good energy for what you're about to see in these future pools right here. Let's hope that we can get something nice, man. Fingers crossed for it. Here we go, season one super pack off the rip. Can we get a shake? No shake, no shake. It looks like we got an emerald card, two emerald cards in here. Let's see what it is. Oh, an emerald coach. Here it is, we got a diamond card, a guaranteed diamond card. This one, I'm, I'm hoping we get something really good, man. I could really, I would take a Wilt, I would take a Russ, a Westbrook, uh, Paolo Banchero, the one that just dropped. I don't even know if that card would be in these packs, but hey, I will take it. Yeah, let's hope. Fingers crossed. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up because we are about to get something amazing. Nah, I don't know. I'm just hoping for the best. <laughs> let's see, man. Free diamond. Free diamond. Free diamond. Give me a good one. Imagine if it was a pink diamond. I would lose my mind. Come on, y'all. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Or give me a diamond I already have so I can, that's sellable, so I can sell one. Driving layup, 92, who's this gonna be? Power four, Lakers? Hey, we got Kyle Kuzma. That's not terrible. Honestly, that's not terrible. <laughs> I'm not upset about it, I will take it. We got Kyle Kuzma from the free diamond. I'm not completely upset about it. It's not the absolute best thing we could have gotten, but hey, it's not. It's definitely not the worst, man. We got a Kyle Kuzma, so I will take that, man. I will take it. I will take it. I will take it. And he's in that Laker jersey. You know. Go ahead and get my Carl Anthony Towns, man. If you haven't got your Carl Anthony Towns, I definitely recommend checking him out. He's a good, 
he's looked like he's got some decent stats and he could definitely be usable for people that don't have the best of squads and could use a big man on their team it's a free big man well not free but you know you get your pro pass and you get him off the rip man and he plays power forward and center looking a mugging right there looking mean in the New York Knicks jersey, man, that's going to take a lot of adjusting to getting used to seeing. Uh, but yeah, that is that. And man, oh man, I'm excited for season two. What I'm going into season two cooking with right now so far, I'll let you guys see the lineup. I haven't even showed you guys. I do have a lot of sellable players right now, a lot of sellable invested players. And there's a reason behind that, man. If you guys take a look at the auction house, the diamond market is down right now. It's down pretty heavy. Uh, lots of good cars that you can get for cheap, man, that you can get for really cheap. I've been going around. I had a lot of MT sitting. Uh, I've been going around buying diamonds that were usually around the 100K price, and that dropped down to super cheap. As you guys see, I got a Jeff Rulin sitting here. But on top of that, I've got a lot of other good cars that I've been sniping for really cheap. And I plan on just holding on to them because I know the diamond market is going to go back up. I got this diamond Jeff Ruin for 50K. This is usually a card that I'm seeing sell for about 100K. 90 to 100K range. So getting him for 50K, it sounded like such a deal, especially in the market right now. I'll show you guys what the cheapest diamond price is right now. But getting a card like Jeff Ruin for 50K, discount. Got Sangoon for 67k. This is definitely a card I rarely ever see for a buyout. So getting it for 67, can't complain. This is coming right off of Super Packs, going right into Season 2. A lot of people are getting these free cards, free diamonds, lots of free stuff, man. So they're getting rid of a lot of cards that they're probably not going to be using anymore. So I'm taking advantage of that, buying cards for a discount. Uh, there's a couple other good snipes in here, some my career. Uh, bought Chet. For 230, 230 MT. I got Wilt for 275. I sold him so I can go after Chet. Um, but yeah, man, 230 right there. Got uh, Willis Reed, 358. Not really a deal or a steal, but just a card I wanted to get. So I went ahead and, and got him. Uh, and I got MPJ for 159. So yeah, I'm looking at all these cheap cards and I'm taking advantage of this market. I'm going for them for cheap. I got Trey Young from Super Packs. I got all these diamonds from Super Packs, but I've just been holding on to them because I know the market is going to go back to being very little diamonds for a buyout. There was definitely a week or two ago, if you looked at the diamond market, there were hardly any diamonds on the market. So being able to get all these really decent cards for cheap, it's a deal. It's a deal. It's a steal. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to hold on to these cards and I'm going to flip them later on. So right now you can see... The cheapest diamond on the market is 43k. Going to be oh 42k. Going to be 42k and I got Jeff Rulin. Jeff Rulin for 50k. So, yeah, it's a steal. It's a steal of a card and I'm happy to do it. And right now people are tossing these cards up for really really cheap prices. So, I'm just taking advantage of it. I'll hold these cards for a week or two if I have to. Ideally, I'm going to sell them by next week. Uh, there it is, another one for 50k. Another one for 50k. So hey, it's an investment. It's an investment. So it's a risk, but it's an investment at the same time. And I think it's truly going to pay off. I'm tempted to buy this one again, honestly, for 50k. I'm really tempted to buy it again. And you know what? <laughs> I don't know. I just might. I just might, honestly. Yep, we're going to do it. Why not? Why not? So, yeah, that's the type of time I'm on right now. Um, and I'll come back with an update video to see if this paid off or if it was a bust of an investment. But, honestly, I think it's going to go in my favor. I think it will go in my favor, and I'm happy to take it. So yeah, man, I definitely look forward to grinding some season two. Make sure you are tuned into the stream because I go live stream a lot when I hop on the game, a lot, a lot. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be accomplishing 250 wins in Showdown or 500 wins in Triple Threat Park. That sounds crazy, but I will be grinding the game none the least. Make sure you guys are tuned in. I'll be around coming with more content as much as I can, when I can. And yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy Season 2 and I hope it treats you well. Happy grinding to you guys and I'll see you in the next 